Tonight, I have acquired a lot of Australian sweets. We have Australian chocolates. We have Australian lollies. We've got Australian biscuits. We've got a heap of stuff here. And so what we're going to be doing tonight is we're actually going to be ranking all the Australian sweets and uh, and slotting them on somewhere along the uh, somewhere along the lines of S to F on the uh, on the tier list. So that's what we're going to be doing tonight. First off the ranks, I think we should uh, we should go for something that's quite Quite classic to Australia. We have the Calamella Koala as our uh, first cab off the rank. So anyone that doesn't know, the Calamella Koala is probably one of like the more iconic ones. That's what they look like there. And um, wait, if I was to buy it anywhere on it, where would I, where would I actually, where would I buy it? I'm decapitating him. I've got to do it. Mm. Mm. As we will be for each one of these, we will be sorting them on the tier list. I think the Calamella Koala has a special place in my heart and all of Australians' hearts. I don't think it's like the most standout chocolate that we have here tonight or the most standout sweet that we have here, but I do think it places quite highly on the chart. I think this one deserves a spot up in the A, A positioning. The second one that we'll be having tonight, we've got a, um, it's only a baby one. I didn't want to get any of the big ones, but we do have the, uh, we do have the red skin. They're almost like a, a little bit of a, it's like, I don't know what, it's almost like gum. I don't think they're that great personally, but I won't have all of it. Uh, this was a bad idea. This is going to be stuck in my teeth all night. They're like toffee, but strawberry. Yeah. Redskins, I'm not a big fan of particularly. So I'm going to probably... Oh, it's really hard to tell because we've only had like one put down so far. Redskin, I'm probably going to pop this in, for me, the E. I don't think they deserve to be too high. So I reckon uh, I reckon we'll put Redskins in an E for now. Kind of gives it a little bit of balance between the A and the, uh, and the E. We have the iconic Milky Bar. Now, I haven't seen a Milky Bar in a long time. Um, I used to love these as a kid. I thought Milky Bars absolutely slapped. I think they're like just such an underrated chocolate bar. Like you never found too many white chocolates and they used to have like this really iconic ad and it was it used to be like this Milk Boy kid and he used to have like, I, I don't know how to describe it, but it, it used to, I remember seeing these ads on TV and they had like this full mascot for him and he was like a milk delivery kid and everything. And um, I don't know, the white chocolate, I think it just slaps. I think it's great. Mm. I think they've changed them a fair bit. I remember them tasting a lot better. They definitely don't taste as good as they used to, but they still are a banger of a chocolate. For our Nestle Milky Bar, I think we'll... Um, I don't think it deserves to be too high, chat. I'm not going to lie. It tastes pretty average. I remember them tasting a lot better. I think Milky Bars is a good middle point for tonight. I think Milky Bars will probably be put maybe in a C. I don't know. They, they lost that magic that they had, but they I feel like they're just an iconic chocolate that have, uh, that have been around for a long time. I think the next one that we have, in my opinion, is such a great chocolate. They're like a chocolate, little chocolate bar, but they also have like nuts in the middle of them with like, I think it's a little bit of flake as well. I can't remember. It's like a little bit of like waffle flake as well in the middle and everything. Oh, mm. I don't think the baby ones do it justice. I think the bigger ones definitely, uh, definitely deserve a little bit more credit. The bigger one definitely has like much bigger nuts in it and, and, and tastes a lot better. I'm going to put the boost bar into B. I think, uh, I think B is a nice safe place for it. I don't think it's anything above a B. I don't think it's necessarily like deserves of an A. I think, um, I think B is a, a good, a good spot for boost. Huh? B, B for boost. Huh? Anyway, now I think I'm going to move away from chocolate for now. These snakes chat for anyone that's not Australian. If you went to like any sports, like school carnival or any like swimming carnival or anything like that, you know, for sure that someone's got a bag of these somewhere and you'd grab them after a, um, after a swimming race or something like that. I think those deserve to be quite high. I think the nostalgic factor that they have, I think the, the snakes are like just such an iconic Aussie lolly. Like you always had them as a kid. They were just such a good, safe go-to lolly to have. I would probably sit these just behind a boost bar. I know Rabu's excited for this one. We do have the flake. Now the flake is such a good chocolate in my opinion. I think the flake is like my favorite from the Cadbury favorites. It's like just the one that always stands out to me is the one that I always grab. That is what they look like chat. It's like a flake chocolate. It's sort of like what you'd find in a McDonald's soft serve. They, um, they, they get so messy. So you almost have to do it in such a particular way. Oh, it's already flaking. Such a particular way that you just pick it up. And just like that. Mm. Mm. I think uh, I think flakes are very, very, very good. I'm probably going to put them in the S. They're better than a caramel koala. Better than a boost. I reckon like, yeah, flakes, just such a treat. Absolutely just such a treat. Just such a good chocolate. The only downside for them is they're a little bit, they, they get a bit messy. Next on the list, 
I won't do these just yet. I don't want to do these just yet, but I think we'll, uh, I think it'll be respectable and, um, and jump on some, uh, some white chocolate Tim Tams. I think they're pretty damn good. I think they're, they're really tasty. Where they sit though, they're going to go behind the boost. I think boost is just too good. I think boost is, I, I think boost has the, has the superior slot here. I'm just going to move it just one below. Next up on the ring, the tiny teddies. Honey edition. There we go. Look at them. Look at those boys. For a uh, for a biscuit, I'd say they're pretty good. I wouldn't give them the the hut like the the same amount of praise as something as like the the choc chip tiny teddies. Probably put them here. This is one that I haven't had before. It's a very apparently it's quite Australian. I've never heard of these before. The golden ruffs. I've never seen them at the store until today. They're really flat, dude. They're really flat. Where the fuck is it? You, you're fucking, no, no, yeah, you, you're fucking going right there. If you know what these are, they're like a, they're like a bubbly, so they've got like a bubbly sort of inside. You can kind of see there in the picture, but it's a chocolate covered like sort of circle, but sort of like a bubbly minty sort of inside. The texture of these is just unmatched. These just hit different, man. They're just so good. They're just so good. I think our arrow, I think that's going up to S. We have the cheeky lolly. Now, I don't have the packet of cheekies. I've just got the little one. Now, these used to go by a different name, but they've been rebranded recently. I don't know, chat. I don't know. To me, they're not that great. So I'll, I'm probably going to slit these probably in the... I wouldn't put them in the C. I think I'm just going to be like one below D. We've got the Caramello Dairy Milk Chocolate. So this is a quite standard sort of Dairy Milk sort of Cadbury chocolate. But I think Caramello Chocolate is so good. I reckon they, they just go behind the Caramello Koala. I reckon they, I reckon they should fit behind there. They taste unbelievable, chat. These just, these just absolutely bring back memories from being a child. Used to have, always have these at school. Mmm. Chalk chip tiny teddy. I think just above the Tim Tam, and below the boost. Old gold. It's good. Dark Joe is not really my thing though. I'd probably sit these just somewhere safe. Yeah, I'd probably put them in a C. I probably wouldn't put them any higher. I have not had one of these in such a long time. For anyone that doesn't know, that's what they sort of look like. They're a bit funny looking, I'm not gonna lie. But they have like, they almost look like a bit of like a chain or like a rope. It's pretty much just stringed caramel with chocolate over the top of them. But the caramel is really chewy. It's straight just stuck in my teeth. <laughs> Probably here. I think, I think just to be fair, middle of the pack, you can't go wrong with them. They're pretty simple. It's just basic caramel and chocolate. Maybe just below a Milky Bar. I can't say that I've ever had a wagon wheel before, so I think it might be worth a shot of us actually trying one of these. So supposedly this is like marshmallow, chocolate, and jam. Oh. They they did a good job of the marketing because they do not taste anywhere as good as what they, they, they should. So you know how I said it was marshmallow and... Um, and chocolate and jam. Look how much marshmallow and jam there is compared to the amount of biscuit there is that just tastes absolutely average. I'll probably put them down here. I think they're a little bit better than the, the golden rough, but I'm going to put them in the F, man. I'm not going to lie. Those tasted pretty damn average. I I would not like another one. Now, I want to try this one. I have not had a Chonkito before. I'm not sure where the Chonkito is. Apparently, it looks like a... It almost looks like a Snickers bar to me, so I'm, I'm not too sure what to expect from this, but it seems pretty pretty interesting. That's really good. How have I never had one of these before? That's so good. Chat, I'll be honest with you. I'm happily going to put those above the boost. I, I'd either go far as to put them in a low A. Or either above, I'm going to put them above the caramel, man. Probably one of the most Australian, most iconic Australian just Cadbury chocolates. It is the Freddo Frog. I think Freddo's just sit behind uh, sit behind our friend uh, Calamelo Koala. I think that's a fair spot to put him. I'm a big fan of these. My mom and I used to absolutely love these. So these are the, uh, these are the strawberry cream. These are really good. Mm. Just, just the combination of both the strawberry and the cream at the bottom. Oh, I'm gonna put them in A, but just not, just not above, uh, just not above the chocolates. I don't think. I think we'll, um, I think we'll follow that one up with uh, the milk bottle. This is another one from the uh, the same sort of collection from Allen's. The the milk bottle lollies. The milk bottles. I think they're up there with the strawberry creams. I put them just behind the strawberry creams, but I think they're up there. We do have the Snickers bar. Mm. Mmm. I'm gonna put that there. I'm actually gonna put it there. Mmm. Top of the A. Top of the A. We have the Arnott's Vovo. Such a staple of a, an Australian sweet. You've got the, the raspberry and the strawberry icing on top, the jam, and then you got the coconut. The Arnott's Vovo. 
I think they deserve to be pretty high. I think they're incredible. I'm going to pop these top of B. I'm probably going to put them top of B. I don't think they stand out enough to be an A. Now, this is one for the Aussies. Now, this one's to do with uh, an association that I always see at a lot of events. It's called the Red Frog Association. I, I don't necessarily like the, the lolly itself, but I think the idea of Red Frogs just has like such a, a bigger a meaning behind it. If we're going off the um, the idea of Red Frogs, the nonprofit organization behind it that uh, that help out young teenagers that go to like parties and music festivals and things like that and get a little bit too messed up. But the lolly itself, honestly, I'll be real with you, not that great. Not that great itself. I do think a lot of these are quite better than it. I will put it above the cheekies though, and I'm probably gonna pop it around in a low C. Did I hear dream? You sure did. You did hear dream. Now, this is a very similar sort of milk chocolate to the Milky Bar. I do think these taste a little bit nicer though. I think Milky Bars used to taste like this. I think I'm gonna pop Dream in a mid B. I don't think they tasted as good as the white chocolate Tim Tams, but man, the Dreams are good. And I think I'd pop those above a Milky Bar. Milky Bars used to have a special place in my heart, man, but they, they're letting me down. They are letting me down. They used to taste a lot better, but they just they just don't. I'm gonna knock off the, uh, the tiny teddies. We do have our final tiny teddies. We do have the chocolate flavor. Those are good. Those are good. I think they're up there. I'll be real with you, chat. The chocolate ones up there, just behind the chocolate chip ones. Honestly, just straight thrown back to uh, to being in primary school and having those in my lunchbox. We have the uh, bananas that you'd find in the um, in the lolly packs. They don't taste incredible. It's just dried sugar with the banana sort of like artificial banana sort of um, sort of flavor. Alan's bananas. I think they deserve to be just behind the f just above the frogs. I think, dude. I haven't seen these bad boys in a long long time you would have a randomized uh time on the back so this one we do have here is uh i think it looks like uh two o'clock it's backwards obviously they taste so good aren't it can't go wrong with them i think they're just behind the vivos above the tiny teddies for sure but th those are just such a good iconic sort of old old snack i do have a small crunchy here now this isn't obviously the same size as what you'd find a normal bigger bigger crunchy for anyone that doesn't know chocolate chocolate covered honeycomb oh man it's been a while what you used to be able to do is you can almost like lick in there and you just get the honeycomb flavor that was surrounded by a chocolate. Man, I'm going to put them below a boost. I think they just have such a great taste to them. We'll fire up a violet crumble. Now, violet crumble, pretty much like the, the direct competitor to crunchy. This is a big fucking chocolate bar, man. This is a big chocolate bar. Look at this bad boy. Um, mm. The violet crumble is just like the crunchy, except, so if you can see these both here, the Violet Crumble's actually got like a little bit more of like a thinner sort of texture to it. Not by much. It just dissolves in your mouth a lot faster than it does for a crunchy. Violet Crumble, I actually think it's a little bit better than a crunchy. We are overpopulating this a little bit, but I will probably put that just above the crunchy, I think. What I might actually do, chat, I'll do a quick rearrangement. That's my that's my rearrangement so far. Milko Chewies, that's what these look like. I'm going to pop these in here for now. I'm going to pop those above Old Gold. Okay, what have we got next? We do have Dairy Milk Chocolate. This is just your staple sort of dairy milk average Cadbury chocolate the dairy milk chocolate it's pretty average it's just it's just chocolate right it's just the most basic sort of chocolate i think it's above your dream so i'm gonna pop that here and i'm gonna move snakes down a column what do we have next we do have the milky way i love milky ways man i always thought milky ways were fire as a kid they've got like a, a soft sort of chocolatey inside i think that's rocketing straight to the top low 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 s it's an s but it's a low s the next one that we have is the Allen's Sherbies. They're like a sherbet sort of like chewy lolly. I don't know how to describe it. You can kind of see it's like a it's like a hard lolly wrapped around like a bunch of sherbet in the middle. I'll be real. I was never really a sherbet person. I can't say that sherbies were ever my favorite sort of like sort of lolly. They were they were there, but I'd always go for like a Milko Milko stick or even like a a red skin for that matter over it. I'll be real chat. I thought that kind of tasted a little bit funky. I'm probably going to pop them in E. All right, chat, we have Picnic next. We're almost down. We're down to our last seven here. And we still have the Clinkers and the Tim Tams to go. Two of the most iconic ones here. Our next one is Picnic. I think Picnics are pretty good, bro. You got all the nuts just sort of sticking out. I'm pretty sure it's peanuts, right? Oh. You know where I'm going to put it, chat? I'm going to put it right in here. Just below your uh, just below your boost bar. Cherry Ripe. I think Cherry Ripe's... Uh... I'm not the biggest cherry person. I think cherry wraps taste all right. They're pretty fucking average though. Uh, it's no better than a D. Maybe a C. Yeah, I think our cherry wrap fits in at a high D. Mars. Mars is a staple. I think Mars is a very staple sort of chocolate. It's been around for a very long time. Tastes unbelievable. Mmm. It's essentially a Milky Way, but with caramel. I forget how good Mars bars are, dude. 
It's gone above a Milky Way. We do have the Chomp. Kind of like the Twirly, uh, the Curly Whirly. Same sort of like category, but I think these have like the flake down the middle of it as well. These are ridiculous. I'm going to do a little bit of a shuffle. Do a little bit of a shuffle. Cadbury, Caramel, down to a high B. Chomp, you're fitting in just above a picnic, but below a boost. We'll do Moro quickly. It's always the last one that I pull out of a uh, of a favorites box, I must say. Or like, I don't even think it's in favorites. It's just a... I think it's a UK chocolate. It's very, very clean looking. Very basic. I'm going to put the Moro below a Milky Bar. Coming in at 400 kilojoules per Tim Tam. 400. That's half of a fucking hamburger. Tim Tam. Absolute iconic Australian chocolate. I think we'll put it in second S. Second to Flake. I think Flake has its own magic. I think we'll put it second to uh, second to Flake. Above Aero and um, and below below Flake. Now, we have the Pascal Clinkers. Now, if you don't know, they're like a chocolate bullet, but they have like almost like a honeycomb or like uh, hardened, uh, hardened sugar in, in between with different sort of flavors as well. So there's like the pink ones, red ones. It's like a, it's a random guess. So you get the bullet and you have to bite into it and see what color you get, essentially. I used to have these a lot when I was young. This was a this was a chocolate that my mom used to always get, and it'd be something that we would share when we'd uh, watch movies on the couch and um, and just sort of hang out. But coming back to them, I kind of remember them being a lot better. I think clinkers are gonna have to sit here, and milk bottles are gonna have to pop down one. Yeah, actually, no, sorry, I'll move it down one more. I'm gonna move it down one. I'm gonna move it down one. I think in terms of the rest of the the, the list chat, I think I'm gonna have to move these down potentially down to D. Uh, cheeky, I, I'm gonna move these down there. I don't think they're, I don't think they deserve to be on the same category as them. We have gone through it all. And, um, and this is, uh, I'd say, I'd say this would be our, our final result. In S, we have our Flake, we have our Tim Tam, our Aero Mint, our, uh, our Mars and our Milky Way. Those are, um, those are our S tier. This is like everything that I had one bite of and just kind of left. I've had so many different types of chocolates tonight. Like I'm all chocolated out. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and um, I'll see you next time.